What the eyes have seen, they cannot unsee. I am just totally shocked at what unfolded in this past episode. This is just entirely crazy. I don't know where to begin. Let's start with Keith and Gretchen. Holy bat shit Batman. Gretchen got her visa and will be off to join her handsome husband. I cannot believe that it was approved by just saying how much she hates. What's his name? Oh, yeah. Let me look at my notes here. Here it is. Big Ed. Then Gretchen was so happy she went out and bought her own plane ticket. Keith looked so happy she was going to join him. I wonder if she will have one of her cousins try and date Russell. She has 36 of them. Speaking of Russell, it seems the cast members don't like Grace very much. She has a severe potty mouth. What was coming out of her sewer was nothing by trash talk. Filth and garbage. I cannot believe the words that were coming out of her mouth. Then she had the nerve to tell Russell to fulfill his promises even though it wasn't even his child and she knows it. She still wants money. She was so angry after Russell said he would go complete WWE on Conrad's ass she admitted that Conrad was nothing, but her husband the whole time. What scammers. I hate people like this. Russell, call Gretchen, you have her number and her cousins will love to meet you. Then there is Red. Red, Red, Red. Dogs don't crap where they sleep. I hope you aren't going to fall for this setup or you are being scammed. You better watch yourself. When one woman calls you with your wife, then the answer will always be no. The answer is no. 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 That is trouble. Then Princess Marie calls him and begs him back. She didn't know what Big Red was all about until she saw him on TV. What trouble is ahead for Big Red? I hate to be him. Oh, wow. I loved last week's episode. It could not have been more shocking. Now with all the lies told this season. This should be called The Liars Club Meets, Love Island on Cheaters. Wow. These people are barbecued crazy stupid in the head. I am just shaking my head at this stupidity. What will people do to get on TV? First, there is Keith. Gretchen run. This guy is going to use you like a pincushion. She gets her visa and then Keith makes her buy her own ticket. Then when she gets to the USA she has to pay him back with interest for the ticket she bought with her money. What's worse is she fell for it. Then Keith is making her pay for gas parking and roses. This guy has no shame. She is seven out crazy stupid in the head to fall for that craps. Speaking of that Grace calls to scream at Russell for money. She uses so many German swear words it would make a Scottish sailor blush. This woman, and I use this term loosely, is German sausage crazy stupid in the head. I'm glad Russell grew some balls and said he was going to go completely Randy Macho Man Savage on Conrad. The The Walking Sewer admitted that Conrad was her husband and she wanted money from Russell still. My word. What the F is wrong with that woman? Then Red. Oh my Hari Hari. Maya calls him and confesses her love. But after Red says no, Caroline gets on the phone and says it's okay. What kind of samosa crazy stupid in the head women we got here? Then Princess Marie calls back and says her mother says it's okay for them to marry. This was crazy. This was nuts. I can't believe what I saw. Keith is forcing Gretchen to buy her own plane tickets because he bought a 5,000 square inch flat screen plasma television because he thought it was more important than a plane ticket for her. Then makes her pay for her own roses, gas and parking when he picks her up. I bet you anything he has a cashier at his house charging her just to look in the fridge. I heard he has a coin-operated meter for electricity in his house. You pay 25 cents per kilowatt minute. How cheap. He is a moocher. I need coins. My Iron City beer is getting low. I need some Cisco. Thank you Anita Mantokas for the coins. Thank you Jimbo Jones. Thank you Mike Crotch. The coins are welcome. I need 25 more coins to buy some Colt 45. Thank you Urea Lush. Thank you huge ass. I'm getting close to paying my rent before I get evicted. I need coins. Thank you Maya B.O. problem. Then Grace. What a filthy mouth. I told you about her being a liar. When you need to get some tea, come to me Jack. I will spill it. Russell threatened to go completely sky low low on Conrad. Grace is completely Teletubbies crazy stupid in the head. She needs a psychiatrist or something. 
She is nuts demanding money after getting pregnant with Conrad's baby. I can say that is going to be one ugly baby. Speaking of that, thank you Anita Bath and Maya Buttrix. Thank you for the coins. Maya calls Red and wants to do the doinky doink with him. He says no, but Caroline says yes. This is just a lie like they have done all season, they lie. Thank you Ollie to Booger for the coins. Then Princess Marie calls him and now he wants to marry all three. Sickening. Just sickening. Oh my jumping bullfrog of Calavary County. What was just shown? The only one not pregnant was Gretchen. Keith you need to step it up. Caroline has Maya call Red and ask to do the zoom zoom zoom. Down on Thunder Island. Then he says no and then Caroline says yes because she is pregnant so Maya has to be wife number two. I'm sure this is all for ratings. Then Princess Marie calls after seeing Red on TV and wants to go stroking with him. To the left and to the right. It cut there and Red says it's good to be king. That is sad. Keith said it's good to be the boss after making poor innocent sweet little angel faced Gretchen pay for her own plane ticket then pay him back for the ticket she bought with her money with 20% interest. Just because he bought himself a 5,000 square inch flat screen plasma TV so he could play video games. What a loser. Is that TV more important than her? Huh, Keith. You cheap fatherless goat herder. You make me sick. That is nuts. Keith has gone absolutely pinion nuts crazy stupid in the head. Gretchen is not much better. She fell for it and her hairband is too tight. Lumpia crazy stupid in the head. I'm glad for her, but I'm sorry that she has to put up with Keith. He makes her pay for parking, gas and roses so he doesn't have to pay, just absolutely mind-blowing. What nerve of Keith to ask that. Speaking of nerves. It's crazy that Grace had the nerve and audacity to ask for money from Russell when she knew it wasn't his kid. Then after Russell threatened to go wild Samoans on Conrad she admits that Conrad is her husband. I want to see Russell lay the smack down on that jabroni. If you smell what Emma is cooking. I think Russell deserves better. He should contact Gretchen she has 49 cousins. I heard he is signed on for next season and is flying to the Philippines to do interviews. Good luck Russell, but trust me on going the Valiant Brothers on Conrad. I will pay for that on pay-per-view. I even will buy the Kevin Bloody Wilson album when he releases one about your smackdown on Conrad. My money is on you Russell. Conrad stole your salt shaker and said Australian salt sucked. I wouldn't take that if I were you. Let's get it on. Join us on a LOL International. Please subscribe and share. See you next week on Keith TV. You sexy man. Send me money.